Hey guys, I'm sorry, but the first impressions I got on these set of earbuds is way out there in outer space. I'm talking the year 2050. I mean, that's what came to mind. So of course, with my blown out mind, give you guys a hell of a cool modern intro. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brandon No D. That's right. There is absolutely no D belonging in this name. Hence, Brandon, not Brandon. So don't go there. Okay. And as far as the work I did on my intro, did you guys like it? Because if you do, I do that quite often on this channel. If you are yet to be a subscriber and welcomed into this family, you need to do so right now. Pause me, get on down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and don't forget to hit all to be notified in the next video I post for you. All right, guys, we're back to talking about earbuds, and I've got one hell of a cool set to talk about. Let's go ahead and dive into the box and see everything that comes with this company, the Pro Cyrus P9 by Gravistar. Pretty impressive. All right, we actually have a few things to cover that come in this case. That's right, not a box, a case this time. You're gonna get a mini Cyrus user manual, and when I say mini, yeah, it's small guys. The print on here is very tiny. So if you wear glasses, you're gonna be like, yeah. Speaking of mini, you get your USB-A to a USB-C charging cable. And again, guys, yeah, it's minimalistic. Then they actually kick in four sets of silicone earbud tips, extra small, small, medium, and large, medium being on the earbuds right out of the package. And they also are kicking in this cool necklace, guys. Check this out. It's pretty nice, actually. A lobster claw that connects to this rubber ring, and that goes on the case so you can wear it around your neck. I'll show you that in just a second. But first, speaking of the case that the case comes in, check this out. Look at this. Now, normally, when anything comes in a box, I toss it, right? I toss it to the side, but... This definitely is attention to detail. From the front with this neon print against this charcoal gray, looks like a metal, but it's plastic, of course. But very cool, very cool indeed. And then they have this, best I can think of is a spider looking logo for their Gravistar. And that is a nice clasp to open up. And now we are inside this case. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take the earbuds out and uh, we'll set this really cool case aside. Now we can talk about the case that came out of the case. This is all metal. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but you can hear it 
It's all metal, okay? Even the top clasp is metal as well. The only plastic I see on this is the bottom where your USB-C charging port will be. And then you'll have the Bluetooth pairing button, but it also is a light indicator for this bar right here. And you get six different light choices, such as purple, orange, a light blue, dark blue, red, and green. Grab a star. You guys get a star from Brannon, no D. They even have their little spider logo on this switch that you press to open the earbud case. Watch this. It's on a little hinge and it flips open. How satisfying is that? My gosh, you actually have a fidget gadget to go along with a set of earbuds. Pretty cool. All right, since we have the case open and ready to deploy the earbuds, well, we're on Brandon OD's channel, and you know what that means, right? Gravity test time. Let's see how much force it actually will take to get them out. Yeah, we could sit here all day and do that. They're not coming out. I knew that just by the magnet pull. Yeah, you can definitely hear it locked down into place. They're not going anywhere. All right, real quickly, let me show you how this necklace goes on the case. You're gonna slip it around this frame of the upper latch, right about in the middle, like that, okay? And then you go ahead and shut it, and now you have yourself a necklace, if you will, to hang around your neck. All right, we'll go ahead and take these out physically, and we'll set this really cool, man, I'd hate to let it go, but really cool case off to the side so we can talk about the earbuds. Even though the case is metal and a little hefty, the earbuds, however, are not, and that's good to know. So when you have them placed in your ears, you're not gonna have to worry about them sagging your earlobes or falling out. Is this company amped on their logo? and their name or what? You have Gravistar imprinted on each earbud on the side and then on the top you have that spider looking logo with the big G. Pretty sweet, pretty badass looking for sure. I like the teal stripes that come down too as well. They are definitely screaming modern for sure. Now of course these are touch sensors and you'll be happy to know that they control everything, including volume. And I know that is a big thing for a lot of people, being able to control your volume from your earbuds and not having to worry about your phone. All right, let's see how they fit in the ears, which I'm guessing are gonna fit very nicely because I like buds. These are very nice. They fit very nicely in the ears. They have a little thickness to them, but they don't seem to be sticking out too far from the ears which means you most likely could probably lay your head down on a pillow. That's right. We like to plug our channel here and there. Yes, I don't see any problem whatsoever. All right, let's go ahead and nerd out with me real quickly. We'll go over the specs on what these are all equipped with, and then we're going to give you the Brandon rundown with a music test, a mic test, some pros and cons, and then I'll let you guys know if I think these should be your next purchase. Let's go. All right, here's what you're gonna get with your Cyrus P9s. A Knowles balanced amateur 7.2 millimeter dynamic driver, okay? They're saying four balanced armature driver units developed by Knowles that delivers like an orchestra. With each driver, that plays your lows and highs and everything in between. That, my friends, is a pretty bold statement and we're gonna put that through the test. They actually have three different modes, music, movies, and gaming. They're saying in music mode, it's like being in a front row seat at a concert. Movie mode is like having HD surround sound all around you in a movie theater. And lastly, gaming, that they're saying is going to give you a virtual surround that you can hear every footstep of your enemy. Great. <laughs> You're gonna get 16 hours of playtime on the case and four hours on the buds with no fast charging. Okay, let's talk about that for a second. 16 hours on the case is not huge because I've done other reviews with a lot more 
hours on a case. But the four hours on the buds, now they're saying obviously you get three different charges, which is going to give you the 16 hours. But four hours on the buds, that seems a little low to me. That seems a little low. You're going to get Bluetooth 5.2 in these, and that is exactly why these are really geared towards gamers, okay? If you are a mobile gamer, or if you just want to game on your laptop, and you want a nice set of wireless earbuds to do so, these are going to be your ticket. And lastly, you're going to get an IPX5 rating. It is not completely waterproof, so you're definitely not going to want to submerge these, but these will definitely uphold sweating if you're working out with them. Any kind of rain or weather conditions, you'll be just fine. All right, let's go ahead and stick these in the ears and give ourselves a music test. All right, normally before we get a music test started, I usually like to show you guys how the ANC works and the transparency mode. Unfortunately, these don't come with either or, but they do, however, have the true wireless feature, which means you can play either the right or the left independently. And they also have automatic pause. When you remove the earbud, all you have to do is tap whatever one you have in your ear and it will commence playing. All right, today's sponsored platform is by yours truly, Artlist. Guys, if you are looking for music or sound effects or even stock footage like the robot scene I put in the very beginning of this review, look no further. I will leave you all the details down in my description below. Check out Artlist or Artgrid for all your content needs. Today's song choice is called Solar Wave by the Artist 2050. How ironic. Ooh. Okay, wow. Yeah, I figured this group is uh, very modern. It's, it's ideal for a pair of modern earbuds, and it's gonna give us an idea of all the sounds that are gonna come at us here. Oh man, that sounds so good. Wow. Yeah, these are very punchy, good bass in your face. Let's listen for a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> Man, a symbol? Oh. Oh, that sounds good, guys. Wow. Okay. All right, let's try the different modes. Now, both earbuds will give you music mode, but the right earbud gives you gaming mode, and the left earbud will give you movie mode. So let's go ahead and try gaming mode, and that's done by triple tapping. All right, kind of kind of brings it in a little bit. I don't, let me see, let me go back into music mode. Yeah, okay, it gets broader for sure. Music mode is way more broader. All right, let's try movie mode. Man, that pace sounds good. Man, it is, it's loud. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's all I need. All right, let's pause that. All right, um, yeah, that's definitely all I need to hear. Um, I did notice when you turned it all the way up, there was a little bit of distortion. Now, I don't know if that was basically in movie mode, but that's what I was in at the time. I'm definitely not thinking you're gonna wanna play these at full volume. They are going to hurt your ears. These are very bold and in your face. All right, now I know they don't boast about their mics in these for phone calls, but hey, it wouldn't be an earbud review by Brandon OD without a mic test. All right, you know the routine. Obviously, the professional mic is what you're hearing right now, but we want to hear how the Gravistar Pro Osiris P9 sound, right? Now, how does it sound? I'm curious to know myself as I don't at the present time. It is up to you guys to be the deciding factor. Now, I know we only have a little bit of sound of the PC going on, and that's really not doing its justice. So let's throw in a sound effect that I got personally from Artlist of a restaurant ambience. Now, this is what it would sound like in a noisy environment. Are the microphones canceling it out good enough on a possible phone call? Obviously, I won't know until I'm in post, so I'll be right back. Wow, actually, I'm very impressed. Um, they sounded 
just fine. I mean, a little tinny, but that's normal what you get with earbuds uh, on a mic test. But guys, I'm telling you, these are gonna do way better than some that I've reviewed that claim that they were pretty good on phone calls, so. There you have it. All right, let's go ahead and hit up the pros and cons real quickly. And then I will get you guys moving on out of here so you can get doing what you want to do, not what I want you to do. All right, pro number one, sound is punchy in your face like i just said an all-around set of earbuds this is definitely more than just a gaming set of earbuds guys you are going to be able to use this for your movies for your music as well as your gaming pro number two i'm going to give it to the design of this from gravistar they definitely got it down pat on a modern looking pair of earbuds from the all metal housing to this a light bar interchangeable giving you what six different lighting effects all the way down to the case i mean the aesthetics is phenomenal and pro number three i bet you guys didn't know that this is a bottle opener as well oh oh i'm not kidding i just happen to have me a uh, a cold one uh-huh uh, mm, we'll just set that up Side for later. All right, where there are pros, there are some cons, and I have a few to share with you. Con number one, no fast charging on this unit. They really needed to add that to the system because of the lower battery life on these, okay? You have four hours on the buds, you have 16 hours on the case. That's a little low than most, so a fast charging would have really been nice to have because you are going to be needing to charge these more often than ones that have obviously a lot more battery life. So, And con number two, no app. Now I think they would definitely benefit with an app because like I said, when I turned it all the way up, it started to distort. So if you could get an app with an equalizer and tweak it and pull it down and your highs and your mids and all that, then you might be able to get away with jacking these all the way up and not having them distort. And the last con, unfortunately, no wireless G charge. That's right guys, you cannot slap this on a charger that way or this way and make Bob your uncle. All right, guys, it comes down to this. Even though these have been out a while and I finally got my hands on them, would I recommend them to you? Absolutely. If you want something very unique, you want something that sounds good, you want something that somebody's gonna say, hey, where the hell did you get those? These are gonna be your item. Now, I am not sponsored or endorsed through Gravistar whatsoever, okay? They merely reached out to the channel, asked if I'd be interested, and uh, it just so happened that I did see another review on this very set, and I said, absolutely, I'd love to give them a go, and I'm so glad I did. If you guys have any questions on today's review, don't hesitate, hit me up with a comment down below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. How much are the Cyrus Pro P9s? You are probably wondering by now, unless you guys skip forward, because I do run timestamps in my my videos just for you. Why? Because I love you guys. That's why. Now I'll be providing you with actually two links today. One's an Amazon affiliate link and the other is the Gravistar link itself. The Amazon affiliate link, yes, I do get a kickback. If you so choose to use my link, you definitely don't have to guys. I want you to get the best price. That's all I care about. So whether you use my link, their link, I don't care which, okay? And in fact, this is such a close race we're talking peanuts. On Amazon right now, now keep in mind, you can get four different colors of the Cyrus P9. They sent me the space gray, but you can also pick it up in neon green, or you can get war damaged gray or war damaged yellow, but that's $20 more, okay? And it's on both sites, so it won't matter which one you go to. On Amazon right now, $129.95, but they have a 15% coupon at checkout, bringing these down to 110.46. Now obviously add $20 more to that if you go with the war damaged yellow or gray, okay? Now on Gravistar's link, you can get them for 129.95, obviously for the space gray or the neon green, $20 more for the war damaged colors, okay? But they were gracious enough to give Brandon No D a coupon code. That's right guys, at checkout, if you type in Brandon, 
Don't put no D in it. You'll be sorry. B-R-A-N-N-O-N is going to give you 16% off bringing the Cyrus P9s down to the low, low price of $109.16. Yes. Are you going to save a buck? Yeah. Use Gravistar's link. Or would you like to give me that extra dollar? I really don't care, guys. Use whatever links your heart desires. They'll be down in the description for your convenience. All right, let's get you guys out of here. But before we do, you know the routine. You know the drill. It's fortune cookie time. Here we go. Let's see what the fortune brings us. Those who seek will find. Well, no shit. I would hope so. <laughs> now, if you have stuck with me this long in the review, you're either family or there's yeah, definitely yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah. wrong with you. But hey, I am no judge. You guys know that. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you catch me in my next video. See ya.